Continuing with the story of our wonderful tailor, now with part 2. I recommend watching part 1 if you haven't seen it yet. Taylor Swift is passionate about pets, and has had several ones throughout her life. In that sense, the first of them was a hermit crab, which the singer lost on one of her beach vacations and had to return home. However, when she returned to the place, she found it alive. She also once had a horse named Cianti, which stands for Cinnamon Twist, and then a pug named Nelly in honor of the rapper, with whom she has shared the stage after many years. Now regarding her career, Taylor Swift was the youngest singer to sign a contract with Sony Music. But she soon cancelled it, because the record company wanted her to wait longer before starting her career. Her first song was Lucky You, written at the age of 12. After that, she wrote Tim McGraw in a math class. Love Story took only 20 minutes of her day to write, on her bedroom floor. The song Everything Has Changed, which she recorded with Ed Sheeran, was written on a trampoline in her backyard. According to Taylor Swift, one of her biggest hobbies is cooking, and she has thought about writing a book about her culinary experiences. She has also said that she loves to read about strange medical problems. In addition, the singer is obsessed with cats, children, and shiny objects. She has also admitted that she cannot live without eyeliner and grape juice in her refrigerator. Speaking about her favorite TV shows, Taylor has said that she is a fan of CSI, Law & Order and Grey's Anatomy. However, her favorite TV shows are on the Food Network and HGTV, such as Barefoot and Fixer Upper. She has also mentioned that she watches Dateline over and over again. Who doesn't remember the couple Taylor and Jonas? Well, the youngsters caused a lot of controversy, especially after the singer stated in an interview that they broke up over the phone, and that it lasted 27 seconds. Next, Taylor and Taylor Lautner also made fans crazy, but the lovebirds were only together for a few months, and the breakup resulted in the song Back to December. Harry Styles is part of the list, and we also had a gift from this short relationship. The song I Knew You Were Trouble was written by Swift and presented at the 2013 Video Music Awards soon after the breakup. Thus, Calvin Harris brought fans the hope that he was in fact, Taylor's Prince Charming, but not quite. Well, this was part 2 and the last part of birthday celebration of our wonderful Taylor Swift, to whom I wish all the best and success.